My dear beloved people, I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, every day with Holy Spirit named this program, I am able to meet you. I am praying for you every day and the word that God is giving to me, I believe that it is strengthening you and it's such a great joy to me. When you hear these messages, whatever blessings you are receiving, it is good to go and register into comment section. Send to us as a testimony. God's name will be glorified. More than that, it is always good to share to others. What is the prophetic word for the day? Let me turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 6. It says, The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crop. My dear people of God, the husbandman that labors in his land, if you see a farmer, they don't say it's so hot today, uh, let's see tomorrow. Or they won't say that it's heavy rain, let's work tomorrow. Let it be a hot day, hot sun, rain, cold, whatever it is. If they are a farmer, they will do it in the right season and they know it very well. That's why their hard work they work very hard before the sun rises. They get up and go to their land. And after the sun rises, they wait until the noon and they finish the work before the noon or after the noon. If the work is complete, they will get back to home or else they will stay for some more time and work hard. Today, God is saying that He will give you the results of your hard work in every way. An ordinary person, when he has a small shop, when he is very faithful in his business, in very short time, he raises to a big shop because the students work hard, they score very good. Political people, when it is very hard time for them, when they face failures, they work very hard, they have very good strategies, work very hard to get the success. I tell you, your hard work will never go into vain. On that day, when disciples received the Holy Spirit, they were not afraid. They went boldly, spread the gospel, and that's why 5,000 people, 3,000 people were added into the kingdom. That's why I tell you, every hard work which you do today will not go into vain. But work hard with the anointing. Don't ask for the worldly wisdom. Don't look for the worldly wisdom. I know this, I will finish it, my friends are there with me, I have many people behind me, they will help me, they will support me. Don't depend on man, depend upon the Spirit of God, fill with the Holy Spirit, pray and work hard, God is with you. Okay, work hard. So this is the word for the day, God will help you to reach the success. This is the word of the day. Let's pray our loving Heavenly Father. I pray for your people, for your children, that they should work hard with the anointing. As the early church, they never saw day or night, they went forth to speak the gospel ministry, to praying ministry. And they were in the jail, they were in the prison. Even today we speak about them, Lord. Oh Lord, in your children's life, all the hindrances which are coming against them, let it become a Stepping stones, Lord, we just get victory in your name. All the sufferings come to an end. Strengthen your child. Give them a new vitality. Let them work hard with the anointing and the Holy Spirit. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. You alone be glorified, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. All your labors you will see the results of it and kindly share with me and you are praying for Jesus Smith's ministries. Thank you. Continuously pray for that and also share these messages to many people and join with us in glorifying God's name. God bless you. Our address, Jesus Smith's Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalayam Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836. 7299546363 Email ID gpsrobinson at hotmail.com 
gps.office@jesusmeets.org website address www.gpsrobinson.org